Hello, it's Mac here, and today I'm about the next event in G Tone Line that will be going on for the next two weeks, and also want to talk about G Tone Line character transfers ending, and also future DLCs coming out in 2017. So today, Rockstar put out a post on their newswire, and I'll have a link in the description to it all. But they talked about three modes that will be double GTA 5 money and RP. So make sure you take advantage of those, and I will be talking about those in this video. But first off, before we get to the event, I want to talk about the character transfer is actually ending in GTA Online. So if you don't know what the character transfers were, they were basically, if you played the game in 2013 and 2014, and you played it on last gen, so Xbox 360 or PS3, whenever next gen came out, the Xbox One and PS4, if you had your account linked to your social club, you could transfer your character to Xbox One or PS4. And it would just, it would be a one-time transfer. Now you couldn't go back and play Xbox 360 and PS3 and have your stats update it was just a one-time transfer they wouldn't share accounts so if you were a level 100 right whenever you transferred you would be level 100 and let's say you leveled up to 300 on xbox one you would still be 100 on 360 however it was still pretty cool because you could keep all your items all that i think the only thing that didn't go across platform was if you bought shark cards that money wouldn't go across and then whenever pc came out you could transfer again even if you transferred once from xbox 360 to xbox one you could transfer again to pc which was pretty cool i did that so i've done it two times already and but now on march 6 2017 they will be just not doing this anymore it will be taken away from the game and they've done this before a couple months ago they actually uh took out the transfer feature from xbox one and ps4 and pc put it back in i guess like i, I don't know you know how long it was gone because you know i don't transfer anymore however this is uh, most likely some way to combat, you know, modders and modded accounts and stuff like that. Because if you don't know how modded accounts work in GTA Online, for my knowledge, because I don't, you know, have a mod account or anything like that, but it's pretty obvious what they do. All they do is just, you know, mod their account on the 360 or PS3 because it's much easier on that platform. I mean, if you go back to last gen GTA, it, it's filled with modders most of the time anyways, because you're so old consoles and stuff. It's so easy. Then they would transfer the character to the Xbox One or PS4 or maybe even the PC. And that's how they would have mod accounts. But now I'm sure this is one way to combat that. Which I think is pretty cool because, you know, you, you are playing the game illegitimately. Uh, and that is something that Rockstar doesn't want. And if you are still on last gen, I, I don't know how many people are still on last gen though. Make sure you transfer your character before March 6th before it'll be taken away. Next up on the Newswire, they talk about cracking down on cheaters. And so they pretty much just say that they'd like to thank players worldwide for continuing to be vigilant in helping us crack down on cheaters and malicious hackers by reporting them through the in-games menu. We remain committed to keeping the game environment as fair as possible for all players and are constantly enhancing our abilities to target and ban cheaters. So essentially they're going to be banning more modders and most likely modded accounts will start to slow down because you can't transfer it from last gen to next gen where you know last gen it's much easier to mod and get mod accounts. So that's just a word of warning to you guys. If you haven't uh, transferred your character yet, or if you want to transfer your character from Xbox One and PS4 to PC, then make sure that you do that soon because it will just go away. Next up, let's talk about the event that's going on in GTA Online. And this is actually a very good event in GTA Online. So there will be double GTA 5 money and RP in three different adversary modes, and some of the most recent adversary modes actually. So Juggernaut, Vehicle Vendetta, and Lost vs. Damned. And these will all be double GT5 money and RP, which is actually not too bad. Um, you know, I know not everybody loves adversary modes. Personally, I don't mind them, and uh, especially whenever they're double money and RP. And so I'd say the best one to make money is Lost vs. Damned. Uh, that one can get you probably the most amount of money overall. I mean, Juggernaut and Vehicle Vendetta, those still get you money, don't get me wrong. I mean, they're decent. Maybe I'm just biased towards Lost vs. Damned or Juggernaut, because I'm not the biggest fan of Vehicle Vendetta. But if you are a fan of any one of these, you can be playing them. There's also going to be a playlist, which is featuring Vehicle Vendetta 2, Deadline 4, and Power Play 3. I don't know if that will be double money in RP. I'm guessing it would be, uh, even though that, you know, includes Deadline and Power Play. So, so I don't know why those are in there, if they're not double money in RP. But I think the entire playlist itself will be double money. So make sure you get some money for the next two weeks in GTA Online playing these adversary modes. Next up is the discounts, and there's actually a lot of discounts in G2 Online. So 50% off executive offices in G2 Online. This is amazing. This happened right before Import-Export, and if you still don't have an office in G2 Online, 
even after that 50% off, you know, about a month ago, make sure you buy one. You know, the cheapest one is, you know, only $500,000 whenever this deal is going on. So just buy that. Don't worry about upgrades or anything if you don't want to. There'll also be 25% off vehicle warehouses. This is, you know, if you want to get into the import export and stuff like that, which I'd say is a good deal. The cheapest one will cost you 1.5 mil by default. So if you have that 25% discount, you can make your money back. I've already made like close to $6 million and I still have a full warehouse and I just really haven't been selling that often in the past couple weeks. And I've got way more money than I put in. So if you are going to be doing vehicle warehouse stuff, Go buy one now, especially if you could just buy the office for 50% off. There will also be some discounts on weapons. There will be 25% off all pistols, sniper rifles, and light machine guns. There will also be 25% off the turret limo, buzzard attack chopper, and cargo bob. So these can help you in uh, some missions if you are going to become a CEO and stuff like that. So that's pretty nice. There will also be 25% off the Pegasi Osiris supercar. Personally, I'm a big fan of the Osiris. I think it's one of the coolest supercars in the game. And it's also a very fun car to drive. I love it. Uh, I still say it's probably not the best deal even at 25% off it's still like almost two million dollars by default so maybe you may want to go with a different one if you want like the best deal on a supercar like the Tempesta is still going to be cheaper so you know if you want a different one just go with that but the Osiris is not too bad and for 25% off you may want to get a good supercar for that there will also be 25% off the Principe Diabolus motorcycle as well as vehicle modifications. So these will be liveries, tires, wheels, bobbleheads, spoilers, trims, and more. So I'm guessing all of the actual cosmetic modifications in Bennies will be 25% off. There will also be 50% off all vehicle armor and bulletproof tires, which is pretty good because those can actually be quite expensive, as well as 25% off vehicle cosmetic modifications in Los Santos Customs, like wheels, tires, plates, you know, all that, you know, cosmetic stuff, resprays, all that will be 25% off. So those are the discounts, actually some amazing discounts at GT Online. If you want some new vehicles or if you want a new office in GT Online, or maybe if you even if you want to upgrade your office, go with it now because this is actually quite good. There will also be two premium races for the next two weeks. From January 31st till February 6th, there will be the Wave, which keep in mind that will be locked to the Principe Diabolus, which is not that great of a bike, and I'm sure not many people have it. I mean, it is 25% off right now, which is why they're, you know, doing this, uh, so that they, you could buy the vehicle, but I, I, I don't know why it has to be locked to the Principe Diabolus, aside from, of course, them wanting you to spend more money. So be wary of that. You know, if you don't have the Principe Diabolus, don't do that premium race because you're going to be left behind anyways. And then from February 7th till the 13th, there will be the Vespucci race, which is a supercar race. And it's actually one of the coolest races in the game, in my opinion. So that's quite nice. And then finally, in the end of the post, they say, thank you, GT Online community, for a big 2016. Stay tuned for more to come. So essentially, this is talking about how they are going to be doing more stuff in 2017, which kind of makes my video I made two days ago kind of mute because in that video I was talking about whether GTL 9 will end in 2017 and there's been all that you know all those rumors and stuff and essentially I guess this is probably you know they heard about those rumors and they're like whoa whoa you know we're gonna do stuff in 2017 let's not get too out of hand with those rumors so that's probably what they were doing but they do say and last but certainly not least thank you all for the amazing and dedicated players worldwide for an incredible 2016. A year that was capped by an epic December that saw more players in GT Online than any month before. For players on PS4, Xbox One, and PC, that translated to 11 million new CEO organizations established, 13 million stunt races played, 15 million matches on Juggernaut, 24 million new motorcycle clubs founded, and 10 billion vehicle modifications applied just in December alone. So they say stay tuned for more information on new updates in the works for GT Online in 2017. I feel like this was just a good uh, way to end it because they are giving us more information. Uh, you know, they haven't told us anything about 2017 or what they're going to be doing, but they do say, hey, we're listening. We are going to be doing more stuff for 2017, which I think is pretty cool. You know, who knows what will happen after 2017? Who knows what will happen after Red Dead Redemption 2? But at least until then, hopefully we can get some good updates in GT Online. But anyways, what are your thoughts on this in the comments? What are your thoughts on this event week? What are your thoughts on GT Online character transfers ending? And what are your thoughts on the double money and RP in GT Online? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Hope you enjoy. Feedback is those pretty. I'll see you guys in the next video.